So as I've mentioned a million times in just the past few days alone, the market has been looking really strong with this dry period that we're going through. Cases especially though are the main thing that I want to focus on today and I want to explain why I have really high hopes for them and think they can hit new all-time highs in these next couple of months even though they've already had a really good run and show no signs of weakness. So as always, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy. And just before we get into it, check out this quick pre-roll from the sponsor, Skins Monkey. Hi you, yes you, would you like to get $5 for free for your first trade? Just use skinsmonkey.com and get your extra skins. See the description below to enjoy the special promotion and receive 5% cashback for trading your CSGO skins. So first of all, let's go over a couple cases that have just been going crazy in the past few months, especially the past month. So starting with the Riptide and Broken Fang cases. First of all, Broken Fang cases have now hit a price that they weren't even at throughout pretty much all of the operation when it was actually happening. And even in the early stages when the cases were first introduced and there was low supply, these cases weren't even at the price they're at now, which just shows how strong they are. These cases, being good long-term investments, is something I looked at many months ago, but I definitely didn't expect it to happen this suddenly. But if we take a look at how many CSGO cases are being opened a month, this graph being the most recent from February, we can see that tons of people are still unboxing these past the operation. Obviously, Broken Fang ended quite a while ago, and still, if you go back and look at all the past charts of the past months with cases unboxed, Broken fan cases are opened in like around the low millions every month. Obviously still being one of the most unboxed cases in the game, but consistently being unboxed by a lot of people. Obviously supply going down by quite a bit and price going up. People seem to really like these operation cases. And because of that, the same thing goes for Riptide cases, especially with these new knives that people seem to love, the crazy price action isn't surprising. But if you watch my older videos from right after Riptide ended, you know that I said I think these things were good in the long term, but I very clearly stated that I thought they would have a massive dip like we saw in Broken Fang cases after the operation ended as hype ties down, and then once again, we get the new operation released, I think they'll bottom out and it'll be up from there. I still have that same viewpoint that when the new operation releases, they're going to bottom out for a bit and then be up from there, just like we saw in the Broken Fang cases, but so far that just isn't the case at all and the trend looks completely different from Broken Fang cases, which did start falling off in price when the Snakebite case got released, which of course had the same rare special items as the Broken Fang case. So it's very interesting, but people love these cases, especially in a dry period like this where Cases are really the only way you can spend a lot of money in the game since there is no sticker capsules from majors or operation stars. But either way, those aren't the only cases going crazy. Gamma, Spectrum, Phoenix, Clutch, Glove cases, older cases as well, all doing really well. Just go and check the Steam market in all of those and see. So now, let me explain why I think these cases still have room to grow in the next few months. Part of the reason is what I've already gone over, this dry period that we've got now and really if people want to spend money on the game, cases are the only option and with so many players in the game nowadays and prices rising with knives because of that insane amount of players, I think it makes sense that people will continue to open cases in crazy amounts and be fine with paying a premium price on those cases compared to what they were years ago because of that. Now, with that being said, we also shouldn't have any major, no pun intended, content updates to the game until we see the major in early May, which is actually way closer than I thought it was, time really does fly, but even then, after that, I've got to assume another operation will still be a few months out at least. We never see a massive dip in the CS economy when a major does come, maybe something slight, definitely not something that lasts long though, but... Really, the next few months, I think we should have clear sea, clear seas ahead, clear skies ahead. It's something along those lines, but you get what I'm saying. I don't think we're really going to have anything that's going to crash the market anytime soon. Once again, until we see that operation. So because of that, I think the case economy and the entire CS economy is really strong. And I didn't even mention this summer hype that so many people, including myself, have talked about. We start to see some crazy price action during the summers than we have in the past two years. And I think that it's entirely possible it'll happen this year as well with this player count. Now, I have said before that it isn't something I would gamble on at all and I would definitely not be buying right now if your sole reason to sell would be if we saw all this crazy summer hype and you would just sell then. It's just 
The risk reward isn't really that bad because I'm sure the market will either increase a bit or stay where it is, but I don't know if we're going to see this massive spike like we saw last year and I wouldn't gamble on it because there's no real way of telling it. It's just a gamble. But either way, I don't really see any reason to sell at this point in time unless you want to move your money into something else. Obviously, there's been some really strong gains so far, but I think these next months are overall just going to be in the positive. Now, with that being said, I don't think we're going to go through these next months without seeing some pullbacks in price as well, because if we just see a really strong uptrend with these, even in a parabolic uptrend in certain cases, it's just not going to continue like that, especially for a few months time. These skins and cases should absolutely have a correction in price, which can be pretty drastic. It can be a pretty drastic move for a drop, or at least things might flatten out in price like we've already seen in cases like the breakout case for the past few weeks. Like, don't be surprised if we see this in other cases, because they've had a really strong run already, and it happens a lot if you look in the past market trends. But I wouldn't even consider it a sign of weakness. Once again, in a time like this with no other content in the game, I'd say that usually if things flatten out for a considerable amount of time, prices tend to break upwards because you got to think, what does the price flattening out mean? It means people are fine with buying at this price. And if supply keeps getting lower and lower on the market as people buy at that price, and then people are fine with paying a few more cents, a few more cents just keeps carrying up and supply keeps getting lower until somebody dumps a bunch of cases on the market or a bunch of people dump cases and then supply comes crashing down for a bit. But so far, if things are just sitting flat at insanely high prices that are near all-time highs already, like in the breakout case, it's pretty much at an all-time high. Other than the insane summer hype we saw from last year, that's pretty much, I believe, the only time it's been over the price it's at now. So I'd consider this its real all-time high without some insane hype behind it. This is a normal price for it to be at, and it's very strong. But either way, I don't think we're going to see any sharp downwards moves until a new operation gets released and I don't think if we see a correction that it'll stay at that price for a considerable amount of time. I think the operation is the only thing we have to worry about. But overall, I think that is going to wrap it up for this one. I'm of course holding all my play skins as well throughout this time. Personally, just a big fan in the market right now. But if you aren't, hey, you've probably made some good money already and selling for a profit is never a bad thing, so it's completely up to you. But besides that, as always, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy and check out Skins Monkey as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.